Hello and welcome to Dating Delusions. I hope everyone's having another fantastic day on today's episode. And we'll look, ladies, from 24 to 40. Uh, I just got back from vacation. My voice is going to be a little raspier than normal. I hope you enjoy this one. Let's get into it. An experience I had with a guy a little over a year ago, and I wanted to share it with you guys. Hopefully you can learn from my mistake if you're trying to date again after narcissistic abuse or if you're currently with... Oh, my God. <laughs> Women. Ladies. Not every one of your exes is a narcissist. There are very few of them. There are some selfish people who make bad decisions on both sides. There's women who do this and men who do this. Coming on here and constantly complaining that every man that you've dated is a narcissist. We see it in the dating profiles all the time. It's ridiculous. You're goddamn right. Chicken in news. With a narcissist so uh, a little over a year ago i was working at this bar and there was this guy that worked there he was tall he was handsome <laughs> I, remember, I don't watch these ahead of time yeah he's tall and handsome, he's chad and they think that when chad doesn't commit to them that he's a narcissist and i will say this I've known tons of Chads and Tyrones. A lot of time, they are kind of full of themselves. I mean, Matt, gentlemen, take a step back. For you average gentlemen, I've seen these guys walk into bars and the whole place turns around, like all the ladies instead of talking to the guys they were, because the guy's 6'2 or 6'3 and buff. Then they complain that, well, these guys don't commit or they're not the best relationship partners. They don't have to be ladies. If you just would stop going after the hottest guys, the guys that give you all the tingles, you'll find better relationship options. She continues. He was like kind of like punk looking and I thought he was really cute when I first started working there, but <sighs> come up to me sometimes and like just poke me or. Now, I am not saying that touching anyone inappropriately is okay. That is not what we're advocating here. Women will come up, touch, something inappropriate do stuff to us and it's completely okay so ma'am are you gonna try to say boundaries of poking you plus she's even saying she was attracted to the guy i bet she flirts with this guy and then is gonna go why does he ever touch me that's just how flirting works too I, she continues i would be in the back room and i would like stretch and he would like poke my stomach or try to touch me or like come behind me and like wrap his arms around me but like not ask and like it was just always kind of weird. Like I just kind of felt like, hmm, he's not super great with boundaries. So I was, I was really turned off by. Wait, did you ever say don't do this? Now I, that's another point. If you certainly say don't do this and it's at a work setting, ma'am, you go to the manager and he will, will get fired. I mean, it, this is 2023. You can't do that. You'll just get fired. So I, I got, I'm sure this story is cap. We all we know that so many stories are cap reviews. She continues. So I took some pictures of him and then I got off work for the weekend and I Facebook messaged him um, the pictures that I had taken of him. And from there, he started like Facebook messaging me all weekend. Um, and I was like messaging him back. But I started to notice over the weekend that like... Wait, then what's wrong with this? So the guy, you were attracted to the guy, he hit on you. And so you messaged him back. So what are you even complaining about, ma'am? the messages were getting like too far along like he was moving too quickly and i had seen that you can't make this shit up you can't make this shit up. too far along ma'am that line is quite blurry when you first are talking to somebody or dating somebody what do you mean too far along the guy was i mean obviously he was attracted to you and you were attracted to him he's messaging you you took some pictures of him making drink. There's just nothing wrong with this. She continues. This before I, I had been with a narcissist before at this point. So I was like, mm, I don't really like how this is feeling. Ladies, are you trying to compare an over escalation or maybe a love bombing situation that every man like that is, is a narcissist? I don't even know what point she's trying to make. I'm a genius. She continues. Sunday night, he's like, hey, can I call you? And I was like, okay, fine. And I remember this so clearly. <laughs> Really? <laughs> the guy, sure sounds to me like he's been very respectful. He didn't even call you out of the blue. He said, can I call you? Th there is nothing wrong with it. Ladies, put in the comments if there's something that this man is doing all that wrong when she's reciprocating the energy. And we were talking on the phone for a little while. And then at one point we were talking about like 
why our last relationships hadn't worked out or something. And he said something like, you know, every girl I've dated, like, or tried to date on dating apps and stuff, like, I would text them and they would just, like, not get back to me. And just the way he said it, I remember it was... But she got the ick because the guy doesn't like being ghosted. <laughs> That's a red flag right there, Bev. That's a red flag right there, Bev. There, there's just nothing wrong with what he's doing. He's allowed to have his own perception of what happened in his relationships. It's like you have your own crazy perception that all men are narcissists. You've got to be kidding me. Fair enough. Want to call out Beef Supreme for a super chat, brother. Thank you so much. As always, if you do do super chat, I'll mention it on the channel. So on Day and Delusions, we always start the great profile. It's a great profile today. And she is 30. Now, she is a nurse. And so for some of us, we know that that can be this. Red flag, stop. But she's a, uh, we've had this before, I, recently actually, she's a flight nurse. So she takes care of, a, I guess, intense trauma situations. I like the profile, it's simple. And I had, again, I had a comment recently saying, you have all these very high maintenance looking women. So I do not think this woman is that way. She has a couple nice pictures and she just seems sweet. It says about me, personality 10 out of 10, country accent 20 out of 10 likes live music, dogs, especially bulldogs, fine. Beach days, dislikes last call, picking where to eat and being left on red. Man, that's actually a little joke. <laughs> she wants kids, There's, it's a simple profile. She's doing it right, she continues. Here's a very close selfie of herself. She's an attractive lady, ma'am, that's fantastic. Good. No requirements, she made some a nice quick, she's just, that's a great intro, ladies. Learn from these ladies, especially you ladies into here. Into the pain. Do not have all those crazy requirements in your profile. It's just insane. Her final picture just seems sweet. Here's her work, work outfit. She's a fit and attractive lady. She's no model, but gentlemen, we, we can't expect perfection. Man, we wish you all success. You get a round of applause. We just have to continue to reward the ladies doing it right. That's why I have the new uh, feature on the channel. We'll see that a little later talking about, and we actually, I renamed that from Good Deed to Doing It Right, and you'll see that in just a moment. But as we know, that profile is very rare. Let's get into the nonsense. So this lady's 39, says about me. I have a cat, and sometimes I foster a dog. Oh, good for you. My poodle lives in heaven now. Wine, fine dining. One million dollars. <clears throat> Ladies, fine dining is not a hobby. A hobby is something you can do every day, like gardening or cooking. Coffee, sure, have coffee. Going to expensive restaurants is just expensive. She continues. She then has the airplane icon, which means travel. Stop, Stop at all. Oh. Oh, we got the whole thing. We got the cat, the dog, and the travel. Ma'am, <laughs> travel, all ladies. Travel is vacations. It's not a hobby either. You just want a rich guy. It's fine to say that, ma'am, but just see, if you could just be vulnerable and sweet, you'd find rich guys, you'd probably swipe. But she's attractive enough. She's a attractive lady up there. She continues. Books, jazz, walks, fine. Never married, no kids, great career. I, <laughs> doesn't really matter for the sexual market, ma'am. Now, first of all, she has this. I'm a PhD. And if you look down there, she still wants to have kids and she's 39 years old. She's crazy. And this is what's gonna happen is so many of you, ladies, if you're this attractive, there's no reason you couldn't have found an acceptable man by now, but you want fine dining and travel and a, and a rich guy, but it's not just that you want him rich, you still want him hot and that's what's not realistic about it. You're not gonna get both. A man who's rich and hot can date women of almost any age at, the, at your age, ma'am. And also you wanna have a family and you're talking about your dog and cat, Ladies, if you want a family at 40, get rid of all these animals. The guy's not gonna swim, throw them. You're goddamn right. Taking the news. She then says the quickest way in my heart is an EU passport. Now, when I say that I want these things, I mean that I want them and I don't wanna have to ask again. Ma'am, how are you saying, you're saying you want a family and then now you're saying what the quickest way to your heart is a passport. Wouldn't it be that you are a great father? or you'd want to have a family with me, but no, they are so focused on this. One billion, gajillion, fifillion. 
Yeah. We continue. So this lady's 27, has her dumb pronouns, and then says she's a model at Independent. I don't know about this model thing, ma'am. <laughs> we really have gone haywire when ladies like this are, are modeling anything. She continues. Latina, fur mom, pole dancer. Yeah, we know what kind of modeling you're doing, ma'am. Bilingual English Spanish. Sure. I did the AI thing and it told me I'll make beautiful babies, so there's that. You jewel, that's exactly what I hoped. <laughs> Good for you, lady. What what is she even talking about the AI thing? I don't I don't know what she's getting at. Put it in the comments. I, I'm not sure what this is. Next person to waste my time. I'm draining their bank account. How is your time being wasted? What are you? I, when people put this, I don't get it. Do you ladies know how many of you match with dudes and then don't ever talk, carry no conversation? We've seen tons of comments from gentlemen talking about. I matched with a girl, she said nothing, or she got the ick over nothing and then ghosted. And then they call it wasting time. You ladies waste way more time than any man does. Dinners. Don't tell my parents we met on here. Yeah, we, we won't, ma'am. And not, no, man, ladies, do what you want. It's 2024 now. You can do whatever you want. You're going to dress like this in your profile. You're going to get only guys who are going to want this. I got a whole freezer full of popsicles. Mm. We can continue. So says 31, also has her dumb pronouns, says about me, a confident 200 pound goddess. Looking for the goddess. Oh, Are you the goddess? Whoa. <laughs> Who is the goddess? The goddess is the woman, is a woman, is any woman, is all women. 200, man, you're like built like a dude. Why would he do it? And why are you so confident? And this is the body positivity crap. And it only extends to women. It's They're not talking about dudes. We're not talking about overweight men. We're talking about overweight women should still get all the things they want. Well, I'm here to tell them they're not going to. Damn. Big news. Who's dating to marry the one? I frequent fancy dates, spas, and shopping. 100 billion dollars. We actually hadn't seen Dr. Eve in a while because I have so many other money ones now. So let me get this straight. You're confident at 200 pounds. You think you're a goddess, and then you want a super rich guy to deal with your crap. Why would he? Ladies, if you watch, take a step back. Do you watch media? Do you watch sporting events where you see the wives and girlfriends of football players? I mean, Travis Kelsey, you can talk about Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey's a tall giga chad and dates a, a model. So you want a guy who's super rich? He's going to date models. I, I don't know what, if he, especially if he's hot. If he's a hot dude, it's it's just not going to happen for you ladies. <laughs> oh, hell no. Jane Eddings, raised by generations of old school providers and protectors in my family, so you must have the same mentality. Man, man, this for you. Yeah, there's a lady who's old school, ma'am. You're not. She's fit and attractive and carry herself with elegance. So sure, she can go get some sort of high value man. High value men are not gonna deal with money sniffing women who are built like men. Fit is up her terrible profile with happily declining coffee dates. Or here's another idea that's gonna be very controversial. You could shut the f up. She thinks she's too good for regular dates. She's some sort of queen and goddess. I mean, this is psychosis. Let's send her on her damn way. Says Lady 27, says about me, Christian, boy mom, okay? But then she says this, I'm too churchy for street guys and I'm too street for church men. You gotta be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. Ma'am, too churchy for street guys and too street for church men, but you're a woman of God and you're a single mom. So if you're so religious, if God was such a big part of your life and she's gonna 
talk about God her entire profile, then you'd stay with your husband, ma'am. Continues. If you ain't trying to chase after God with me, swipe left. Chase after God. How how exactly are you doing that, ma'am? Also, this is your dating profile. Fine, it's it's fine to say I'm religious. Okay, you're Christian, great. It is cap when you're a single mom, though, because if you say you're Christian, single mom, and conservative, you don't know what that actually means then. And she's nowhere near done with this nonsense. She continues. She then says, I will never shut up about how good God is. Praise break. Only God can do. Only God can do. Only <laughs> I had to look up a praise break. Can happen at any given moment. Man, what the hell does all this matter for dating? It, it, ladies, it's just so simple. You have a, you put a couple nice pictures. You make a joke. Be something sweet. T great. Ma'am, I would tell you to go find a man at your church then and get off the dating apps. And this higher than, holier than thou attitude when you already have a kid from another man and then say you're so religious. She's nowhere near done again. She continues. She then says what makes a relationship great is making God the center of it. We got an understanding. We're on a mission from God. It just seems like someone who's going to throw their religion in your face all the time and it isn't actually religious. That's just my opinion. I don't know this lady. I'm making a supposition here. We continue. So this lady's 39 and you can just see this picture up there already. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. About me. 5'10 and 198 pounds. Why do you list your weight? If it's over, take a step back. Ladies, if your weight is over 150 pounds, don't even put it in here. Just show the picture of yourself. But why are you even proud above this, ma'am, when you're th this big? She continues, straight auntie vibe. <laughs> nope. I don't know what this means, ma'am. Y'all soft as fuck. I don't know how much more obvious I need to be, but like, uh, I don't like men. What a lovely gal, and she's gonna continue on with this. Woo me, or, and I had to look this up. This is get, and it's the R word with the P E D. Or fuck off. That's what she said next. <laughs> that makes me angry. She continues. I got my bills, my last minute bookings, and my whims. What the fuck you got? I can't believe women make profiles like this. If any, gentlemen, if any of you swipe on profiles that are anywhere near this, you are this. Same, same, same. We continue. I'll tell you about a short lived story as to why that won't be. I'm speaking to a guy, high potential, runs his own business, lives in his own place, conversation seems lit. 100 billion dollars high potential <laughs> yeah he makes a lot of money fine and we all know we are success success objects but those don't try to argue it ladies you want men who are successful men want women who are beautiful she continues and we get along so i thought okay tonight i will give you a couple of hours and i'll meet you for a drink we've been speaking probably about under a week then I was gonna see my friend, but I even canceled that because I got lazy. Went to bed early, minding my own business, and then I got a text message. Hi Gigi, I have been informed that I have cu I have currently been posted on a Facebook page. Could you please remove the post as this can affect my business credibility, thanks. Written like an email, I'm perplexed in bed, right? Picture this, I'm in bed, just saw that I reached 100K, so I'm like, oh my God, Yay, that's a milestone. It's all about the clout. Just so I get a hundred thousand. I'm my I'm just such a princess. I am I my own business and this guy sent me an email and I, I bet she posted in one of those Facebook groups. And I'll take a step back again. I had a lady actually talk about this with me. She was talked about on a recent date, said that she was part of one of those groups and they're all checking each other out, they're doing it in every city. So gentlemen, you know, be cautious out there when you're dating these ladies. Any of these ladies who are so into social media 
checking the crap and it's such an invasion of privacy. Check it out news. Message which looks is written like a formal text message. So I messaged back being like, huh? And he wrote the post of the caption, going on a date with this guy tomorrow, any tea red flags I should be aware of. I'm like, are you drunk? If you, and he wrote, if you could remove it, please, as I am the face of my company and this could affect my brand. I'm perplexed at this point. So I just called him. I'm like, I have no idea what this guy is talking about. So I pick up the phone and call him. I'm like, hello, what's going on? And then he's like, can you uh, take down the post? Um, but what's the post? Like, let me see what this post is. And, I, and then we're talking and he hasn't sent it. I'm like, send the post then. I, I want to see what post this is. I'm running out of time. So part two. Oh God, such gar. Okay, so I guarantee she did post on Facebook. McDaniel, today's comment. Today's comment is from Bill Barty and says, who can afford to travel often? Went on a normie vacation this summer and I'm still paying for it. With food costs, it's not realistic for anyone but rich retired types. Exactly. <laughs> Ladies, you can say traveling's a hobby. No one travels that much uh, themselves. They're ultra wealthy. And if you want an ultra wealthy man, then you better be fit, feminine, friendly and find a guy who wants to do all that stuff. We see travel and everything. I just, I'll argue this at the end of time. It's not a hobby. It's something, it's a vacation. And you know, unless you are retired, you don't have that kind of time. Brother, thanks for the comment. We continue. So it's 33 and says, I recently discovered that not everyone has the same heart as me. They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Oh boy, you're in the pity party. Genu's long-term relationship, single mom of two wonderful children, ages four and six, full-time mother to them. I work full-time as well. I love tattoos and piercings. Shy first, ma'am, you know what you want. Would you follow it, Chad? I wouldn't follow it, Chad. Ma'am, what does tattoos and piercings have to do with the character of a man? And this is what's getting you all so cuckoo. This tattoos and piercings are irrelevant. And I would say the same thing, take a step back again. If a man put on his profile, I only date women with like D cups, that would be just as stupid. And I will, it's, you can want that, gentlemen. you can want big boobs, but it's not, it there's nothing to do with the character of the woman. So ladies, get this tattoos and piercings crap out of there. You just want sexy guys that turn you on and you should be caring more about the, is he gonna be a good stepfather if he would even take the deal, but she's nowhere in her dungeon continues. She then says, I won't shut up about my kids. They are my everything, ma'am. That's a single mom starter pack. So think about this for a second. Come into my life, tattooed, pierced up, sexy man. Deal with my two young kids. And she's offering nothing. There's been nothing here about what she do. That I'm a great mother, great cook, great anything. Check the news. She then says, all I ask is you treat my children and myself Right. Me, me, me. Here's what I want. Ma'am, you are past this now. You want to find a man? You need to be what he wants. You're probably not going to get tattooed up, pierced up Chad. And maybe even if you did get a guy like that, would he be the best father to your kids? It's, it's, it's insane to go, here's my requirements, live in my life and I'm offer nothing back. We can continue. So as I said, I renamed, I was you know, noodling on this section. This, I, I named it Good Deed before. I wanted to call it doing it right. I wanted to just highlight when ladies are doing the right things for their men. Here we go. What does a submissive woman do for her man? Everything. So it's like, if I know you, and I study you. Like, I know how you are in the morning. I know how you are about midday. I know when you're in this mood, what you need. Like, before you can ever ask me for something, I'm already on it. And I would say this goes both ways. I, you don't, you absolutely want to do nice things for your woman as well. It just has to be earned. These ladies expecting it, these entitlement that they have in these dating apps. That's the issue most men have. But I think a lot of good men get, get, do very nice things for ladies. Like he's rotten, but I love that. Like I want him to be that. I think my biggest flex is how I treat my man. And I've been known to love people back to health. And sometimes it's very draining, but- It's I your joy. It is my joy. 
You know, I, I love to see him eating the meal that I cooked. I love seeing him sleep easy. Every night, like clockwork, I scratch this man's back to sleep. And I know when he's asleep. Yeah, it's just very sweet. I get some ladies are gonna watch this and God would never do all this. Well, fine. She's married, looks like she's living pretty comfortably. Of course, she's and she's beautiful. I'm guessing the guy is absolutely giga chad. So this lady's 37, medical and software, and says, about me, I asked the universe for an intelligent, funny, handsome, and humble man. And I ended up taking a wrong turn that took me directly past a vitamin shop. And I was just like, this is totally the universe telling me I should be taking calcium. Oh my God. Right? No, ma'am, I hope you're joking about this universe crap. <laughs> universe does not care about you getting your man of your dreams. Denny's, one that knows how to put in effort. One that knows what he wants. One who's gentle and kind. One who wants to go on adventures with. A man who loves being outside. Someone brave and honorable. I don't understand why I don't have Chad. Ma'am, Chad's definitely not going to be with single moms. There you go. They'll come and smash. She's an attractive lady. And they just don't get it. They just own her, don't understand the sexual market. Continues. Swipe left if you find your worth in a gym. Are you threatening me? Oh my God. So the guy can't work out too much. So be all these things I want. It's made to order, man. She's building Robo Man and she continues. She then says, I'm hoping you truly want to get to know me. I just like shallow questions that are simply to fill the conversation gaps. I'm literally perfect. Yeah, why aren't you so entertaining? Ladies, we don't owe you entertainment. The guy's just trying to get to know you. He's asking some questions about you. Oh, you can see all these. That's a red flag right there, Bev. That's a red flag right there, Bev. Check it in, news. Then says, quickest way my heart is a well thought out surprise. It's my in a box. <laughs> surprise me. Be the man of my dreams when I'm almost 40. 10 years, I'm not negotiable. I'm not having any more children laugh out loud. So please stop super swiping, etc. when you want know you want to have more kids. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Ma'am. So the guy maybe was saying that, but he's also she is attractive. She's fit. And so there's so many men interested in her just because of these things. But to have to put this in your profile too, ma'am, you sound conceited. Just politely swipe away from the guy it's you it's so funny they really they have an ice cream store full of four or five thousand flavors of ice cream and then can't choose the one flavor or they don't know how to choose we continue so in therapy yesterday we were talking about why i'm not dating right now and um my thoughts on dating and it inspired me to want to talk about some of the worst fucking dates that i've ever been on and there's quite oh no hello darkness my old friend and a lot of them so let's get into it a couple of things to consider are that i've only had my car my license for two years so i got it right before my ex and i broke up um none of these dates are within the last like four months since i've been single these are all prior to my ex and i dating so during the like three and a half year time period where i was pretty much single um and I didn't have a car or license. So, so this was maybe like a third or fourth date that I had been on with this. This was so funny. Guys who don't have a car or license would be called losers. Here's this lady who's this. That's a huge bitch. And is talking about how didn't have a car or license and now is going to complain about the kind of man she got. Ma'am, you get what you get. You're drastically overweight and you don't even drive a car, have no money. So are you going to get... A high value rich dude probably not she continues guy and so i was like cool with him picking me up you know what i mean like i i felt comfortable enough with him that it wasn't like awkward or i didn't think it would be awkward for him to pick me up um the restaurant that we were going to was about 45 minutes away from where i live somehow we get on the topic of bi women and spoiler alert i'm bi he did not know that i don't know how that had not been brought up yet but it hadn't and um he ends up going on like a fucking 20 minute rant about how bi women are disgusting he would never date a bi woman he thinks that we are whores and da 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 
All right, if this is true, it's probably Cap. If this is true, gentlemen, we don't do this. You, If you don't like the girl, you don't need to lecture her about how terrible her morals and things are. You just end the date, drive her back home. We just have to have be better respect and be better than these ladies. So it's totally fine to not want to date her, but sitting there lecturing these ladies is just inappropriate. Jane Daniels. Uh, and he thinks we're disgusting. Obviously he didn't know that I'm bi. So I was just sitting there like, yeah, totally. Who knows what he would do if he found out I was bi? Like, I'm trapped in a car with you. Oh boy. <laughs> That's a they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Trapped in a car. Ma'am, you're not being kidnapped. You just asked him to end the date then if it's so terrible. But no, let's go make TikToks and complain about all men. And this is a very toxic thing these ladies are doing. Taking these very specific situations. and You rarely see ladies talking about how great their dates are. I do see it once in a while. Maybe I'll start playing those where they have had a great day. I think I actually should. Jay Daniels. Oh, this one was a first and only date. Um, <laughs> we went to a restaurant pretty close to my house and he had originally offered to pick me up. So I was like, yeah, that's cool. Like, I appreciate it. He texted me maybe 15 minutes before he's supposed to get me. Do you still need a lift? I was like, well, you can't, like you offered. So like I was anticipating it. So I didn't really know what to say. Like it was awkward. And he ended up being like, oh, that's fine. Like I'll still get you. But like, I'm going to be him. Okay. You're going to be me. So <laughs> you're talking to me. You're talking to him. There's a TV right there. Every single fucking time I was talking to this man, he was like, yeah. Yeah, he didn't care, ma'am. Probably because you went out with him. And he doesn't like you and wasn't paying attention then end the date. You ladies have complete freedom. No one makes you do anything. So I don't believe so many of these stories. She continues. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, totally. Yeah, mm-hmm. And one reason, ma'am, you were kind of boring. He just wasn't that interested. You act, the ladies are funny. They act like they never do this to men, but I don't make TikToks about it. For two hours, two hours, okay? At one point in the date, he also went on a tangent about how fucking hot one of his coworkers is, how she's just like the hottest girl he's ever seen in his life. Like, I don't know why I endured that, truly. That was stupid as fuck of me, I should have left. But anyways, I uh, this is a very interesting final profile. We haven't had one like this in a while, but uh, I'd like to change it up. Maybe you something fresh. Here we go. So this lady is 24. It says, hello, I'm certain. It gives her name again. Yeah, got it, man. It's right there. I can't believe this is to be said. I don't have an OnlyFans and I don't sell content. Let the hate flow through you. Okay, ma'am. And who's, I, I really want to know who would say this to this person. You, we're going to see her in just a moment. It's, it's almost like she's trying to project like I'm in special. That's what I'm guessing is going on here. All right, continues. No couples, no poly dudes. No ran through dudes. You can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious. And this is where it's different, ladies and gentlemen. It is. You can argue it all you want, get mad about the double standard. There is. A man who has conquered lots of women is Giga Chad. Is a Chad, a guy who has game. A woman who has been conquered a bunch. It's different. Women can get easy better in front. Men have to earn that. Men have to have game or be good looking or have money or status. So it's there's just no such thing as a ran through dude. And that's I know it's harsh truth. You're gonna say, oh, it's you're a misogynist. I it's not. It's just truth. Daniels. I'm abstinent and not interested in hooking up with you. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure, ma'am. Sure you are. Daniels. No Joe Rogan or Andrew Tate bros. No one who speaks facts to me. I don't want that. And man, what man do you like? So if a guy says you're attractive enough to have an OnlyFans, he's out. I get it, you don't want to join a, a couple, but that's only you're getting hit up by, or guys who are gonna make you a third. And they're talking about dudes, no ran through dudes. Ladies, again, ran through dudes are the men you want because they have the options that you always swipe on the same guys. The swipe statistics bear this out. Take it news. It's the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man.
She almost had the exact colors on too. What? Oh, who's gonna watch you on OnlyFans? Is it guy blind? <laughs> that is correct. Take the news. She then says, "You startled the witch." You gotta keep Coco Pops away from me. But but why? It turns everything chocolatey, and they make me go Coco. Well, they munchy. Oh, crunch. Oh, Coco Pops, chocolate in the corn. See, I'm Coco for Coco Pops. And she gets crazier and crazier as this goes. And who is, gentlemen, really, put in the comments, why would you even watch an OnlyFans of this person? She then says the four emoji that best describe my personality are the laugh emoji, the eyebrow raise, the skull, and the looking eyeballs. Man, what the hell are you talking about? Ten news. Her final picture, she's got herself down there as some warrior princess, and then she has the scream mask on. Ma'am, I have the godfather for you. Buy a dog, cat, die alone. Because no man deserves to suffer you. That'll end it there for today. Thank you again for watching another episode of Daily Illusions. I really do appreciate all our subscribers and supporters. Thank you so much for joining the channel. If you'd like the content, give it a like. If you're not subscribed yet, go and subscribe now. It's free to do and really helps me out. And I will see you on the next episode. Have a great night. Peace.